What's up, Rawtism here, and today I'm bringing you a look at the brand new hero, Immortep. Look how badass this hero looks. Um, his proc is Storm of Seth, surrounds Immortep within a sandstorm for 6 seconds, deals damage, and also has a chance to inflict coma. Let's jump over here to the Waikai, the wiki, and uh, we're going to see that his proc is going to remain 6 seconds no matter what level it is. It's going to up damage when you increase it in increments of 20%, and the coma for one second is going to also stay the same. So there's a little info on that. If you guys have never used this website, uh, just Google it and go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions on heroes or anything, it's pretty much all on here. All right, let's look at his stats. Uh, at level 1, he has 2,000 hit points, and we're going to see that he has amazing hit points for the type of hero he is, it's going to be keeping him alive. At level 100, you're looking at 21k hit points, and when you get up to 120, which is should be your goal for any hero, it's not too hard to reach it, 25,000 hit points, that's amazing, it's going to be keeping him alive pretty well while he's just in there tearing stuff up with his proc, and that's amazing, it's going to be a must-have hero for sure in this game. Uh, here he is in, at, in you know a little visual, He's got his back turned now, but I like the color scheme, the gold with the purple and black. Um, he just looks, he looks badass, man. He kind of looks like a Reaper a little bit in some aspects, but in my opinion, he just looks way better. He's going to be the must-have hero, better than Reaper, better than Atlanticore. I recommend everyone get him. He's going to be tearing it up in Here Be Monsters, Arena, just all aspects of the game, dungeons. All right, let's take a look at the ar arena run here. And I'm on my buddy's account in my guild. He was uh, nice enough to let me use his account to make this video. I'll be rolling for him later today, and there'll be a video on that. But let's check him out in the arena. And I have no idea the setup. I'm just going to throw a couple heroes down in the bottom lane and uh, see what happens. All right, we're up against a Atlanta core with no revitalize. So Thunder God's going to start beating on him. He should proc soon. There goes Atlantic Horse proc. Thunder God procs on him. Spirit Mage procs and Thunder God procs again. Just destroys him in seconds. Uh, Pumpkin Duke had revived, so he's still alive. Now keep your eye on the Omortep. Watch when he procs. Bam! He is hitting that altar for 2k, 3k, 4k every couple seconds. That is freaking awesome. Mixed with Snowzilla and uh, Succubus. That is going to be some pretty, pretty good DPS going and good ticks on there. Alright, we got another run here. I'm going to throw the same heroes down in the bottom lane again. Let's see what we got. Alright, we got some DPS on the bottom, so that's good. This should be uh, easy to take care of. As soon as we knock them out, there we go. Alright, we're going to hurry up to the altar. And also, Cupid is going to be up in his damage, so let's see what he takes for again. Bam! Look how big the Sandstorm is. That's what I was surprised about. How large the uh, the diameter of his Sandstorm really is is amazing. Uh, too bad Serpent Queen doesn't have a visual like that. Alright, let's jump into a dungeon run. And I'm just going to do a low-level dungeon and drop Druid and Immortep. Just so we can see his proc um, in a little better detail. So we're going to drop Druid, drop Immortep. Alright, now, this is <laughs> the main point of the dungeon. I was really surprised when I saw, hit, when he procs, walls just get destroyed. There we go, one down. He's just procking everywhere for 2k. Um, you're going to see him proc again after the second one. A couple more, couple more walls will just blow up. Bam, he's just destroying all the walls. Alright, and here we go. Angel's going to get caught in his thing, get stunned. There goes the coma. Bam, one shot. Now, he is a, a melee hero, so he's going to be, you know, he's not ranged at all. He does float, but he's not flying. As you can see, he does not go over walls um, like Reaper does. He's just going to, you know, have to break him down. It's just the animation of him floating. So there we go. That proc is just awesome. Uh, makes me wish uh, Serpent Queen had like a green effect like that. Alright, let's go into a raid. And the point of this section is I want to show you uh, basically his movement pretty much. And what you're going to notice is his movement on the 
the map is exactly like Pumpkin Dupes. He has a pretty much the same movement speed and the same same movement animation, and he's going to be following Pumpkin Duke if you're using him uh, in raids or dungeons. He's just going to follow him around, maybe give him a little protection. Maybe Pumpkin Duke will get a little help if you're running a Mortep. He won't be dying so often, because if you raid with Pumpkin Duke, you know that he dies quickest. Him and Druid are just do whatever they want, and uh, sometimes they die. So hopefully we'll get a little protection for him. All right, in this raid, I'm just going to drop a. Uh, Thunder God on his Town Hall just to get him softened up in the middle a little bit. And after a second, after that's gone, I'm going to drop Spirit Mage to get her to start proccing. And then we're going to dump all the rest over here once they clear a little spot. And I always do that. Alright, we're going to dump the rest. Now watch uh, Immortep and Pumpkin Duke. They just run, they're going to run together. Pumpkin Duke's a little faster, he's higher level, so. But their overall movement is basically the same. So, all right, we're gonna. This is an easy raid here with uh, no troops. Giving my boy Skeet a little gold for uh, using his account, and we're just gonna mop up the rest. This was this segment. I didn't really get to showcase, you know, what he could do. He's only uh, level 64 with two of nine skill. Keep in mind, in this whole video, he only has two of nine skill. So imagine if he was at about six nine skill. The damage in arena and dungeons and on walls would just be pff, way better. Now, I'm going to take you through one run of Here Be Monsters wave G, Waves G. And I can see this hero being pff, up there with Thunder God in Here Be Monsters for sure. With his proc going, you know, taking care of maybe taking care of the copters on H. Uh, you never know. He's just going to... He's going to help control the middle of your base very well especially if he's proccing so now let's go over what I think would be the best talent on him in my opinion would be berserk for sure that's gonna make his proc stay up longer there's no cooldown keep in mind there is no cooldown so I'd like to see the potential of his damage on the boss that's going to add another one second stun on the boss as well and also probably just going to permanently have up his proc at all times with pumpkin dude so yeah I think there's great potential on the boss with him as well another great talent would be revitalize of course for arena revitalize is going to get his proc off right away get those enemies in the sandstorm then you put in spirit mage and <laughs> Thunder God and you got some damage going very quickly. As well as the crowd control with Thunder God stuns and Amorteps just sandstorm sanding it up in their face. Uh, I need this hero. I am going to buy gems today. I have been trying not to spend money on this game lately. I was a little out of hand with the spending. But after seeing this and getting to use him a little bit, I need this hero I need this hero pretty much so I'm gonna buy some gems today I'm gonna roll for him and um, I'm gonna feed all the heroes I don't use to my pumpkin dude trying to get him to 7-9 so it's a win-win situation I'll make a video on that of course and I really if I don't get him with 20k gems I don't know if I'm gonna spend more right away and I've been spending all my shards on pumpkin dude skill I just dumped 6k shards into him two days ago so I don't have any shards saved up so that's not really an option for me right away so I really really hope I roll him <laughs> and if I don't I'll be pretty upset but we'll see what happens tonight uh, so I recommend everyone try to get him you I mean you you're gonna want this hero forget about Reaper you don't need Reaper anymore I don't really see the benefits of Reaper too much over the other heroes you know if they add another hero base you might be a little more effective but I just don't see it um, thanks guys for watching as always I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for all the support I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming out in the next couple days so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys later take care